Right, so this is the first of our pre-game shows. This is officially lift-off, brought to you by the Reading Rockets. I am Christy Fellows, and you are in the Valley. This is the home of the Reading Rockets. And obviously I couldn't start this first show without bringing you my first guest, who's pretty much part of the, part of the brickwork, if you will. Fabric. The fabric. The yeah. fabric. Um, He's almost like a Happy Gilmore, if you will. He's quite good with a golf club and he's got a mouth that can get himself into quite a lot of trouble. He is, of course, none other than Bailey Tustin. Good afternoon, Bailey. Good How afternoon, Chris. Thank you, mate. That's, that's quite an appropriate welcome. Thank you. Do, you. do you agree with that, yeah. that statement? A bit better than quite good at golf, but apart from that, it's pretty good. Yeah, so just a bit quick background. Obviously, the, the people that come to all these games will be very familiar with the sound of your voice the sound of your entertainment, yeah. your action. Tell, tell us what it is you do for the club. Okay, um, on game day, I just, I'm really a facilitator of fun, just trying to enhance people's experience here. Um, call it, be the hype man, a bit of game announcement, player introductions. Um, yeah, just encourage the crowd to make some noise and support the Red and Rockets and uh, yeah, just create good energy and, and a good vibe here. How long is it that you've been a part of the club now, would you say? Well, both my boys play. Um, so I've been in and about the club for probably s seven years, but only doing this sort of three or four years. Oh, wow. So before you were as part of the entertainment crew, what was it that you were doing? I've been assisting um, both my boys' uh, junior team. So a bit of assistant coaching, just helping out a Fantastic. little bit. So if I was going to be a, a supportive parent, I might as well kind of help out a little bit more. So That's great. That's yeah. great. Okay, so obviously been a good season so far for the Rockets, yeah, would you so, say? So far, so good. Yeah, you happy with how things are going? Yeah, but this is a really tough matchup because Rockets' only defeat of the league um, is against Essex Rebels. So they're always prove a really tough um, opponents. So it's going to be a good one today. Absolutely, yeah. Right, Essex, last time out we played against them, it was a pretty tough matchup for us. They brought a lot to the table, didn't they? Yeah, and their key guys really played well. Um, so our whole roster, is, is, is a, we've got a good roster in terms of strength and depth. So everybody's going to need to put a performance in today if we're going to get the win. And this is obviously a cup semi-final, so big. we're playing for a chance to go to Manchester, is it, for the yeah, final? Yeah, Manchester for the final, which will be a big, big... Uh, day out for anybody so yeah fingers crossed now a bit more about yourself I've been at a few of these games now and I've noticed that you've got a bit of a habit for brushing up some of the other players and even the referees a little bit the wrong way no which... I've turned over a new leaf oh, is, it, is it the rule for 2024 to yeah, bring yeah. a calmer new, version new of use resolution not karma because uh, there's no way of calming this down but um, not winding up the opposition and the and the refs that's definitely yeah that's definitely part of the agenda so we're going to call you Bailey Balance this season then no, keep it boom keep it boom yeah big yeah keep it good well obviously Bailey you've got a bit of entertaining to do now I yeah. assume so I'm not going to keep you much longer but obviously thank you for having a chat and uh, yeah anything else you want to say to the Reading Rockets audience no, we appreciate all the support you know make sure you keep following um, this great team and um, make some noise for the boys make some noise right thank you very much Bailey you're welcome Chris on you go pleasure my man thank you very much cheers buddy Okay, I am now joined by one of the dominant forces for the Essex Rebels, none other than Victor. Can you please pronounce your surname for me, just in case I get yeah. it wrong? Ola Rowan. Ola, say that again? Ola Rowan. Love that, okay. I'm not even going to try, because that would be a bad idea. But um, you play for the Essex Rebels. Yeah. It's been a good season for you so far, would you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a great season so far, yeah. Yeah, any sure. thoughts on your performances in general? I feel like uh, it took me a while to fit in and kind of get, get going and get in my role. But I feel like now I've figured it out, it's a lot easier. We're all clicking a lot better and yeah, we're getting a lot more wins, so way better. You've come from a couple of teams previously, yeah. Nottingham and also got Thames Valley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like you gained a lot from those teams? Yeah, I feel like a lot of experience in Division 1. Like I've been playing in Division 1 for about five years now, so for me, I've gained a lot of experience to the point where I kind of know how things go. Like these type of games here, I've been here before, so yeah, it helped me a lot and prepare for this moment. Absolutely, and obviously it's a big, big game today. We've got a semi-final. Obviously you win here today, you get through to the final in Manchester. Uh -huh. Excited for that prospect? Yeah, really 
excited, but we're just trying to lock in on this game, take it quarter by quarter and just get a job done. We've been here before and we have been knocked out by um, Reading here before, so we don't want that to happen again. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So, obviously you're about 24, 25? 24, yeah, yeah. So you got any big career ambitions? Just want to keep taking it further? Yeah, I would like to play in the BBL, man. I'd like to hopefully one day go up there and play in that league and keep pushing higher and higher. That's good stuff, man. Okay. Let's talk NBA. Do you have any particular players that inspire you that you've that have helped develop your, you know, your I'll career? Say, at all? Russell Westbrook for sure. Like definitely. A particular like, reason? Just because he's just a he's just a dog. He's always going 100 miles per hour. Plays every game like it's his last, and he just doesn't like losing. The man has a lot of pace. Yeah. He's got a lot of energy. Yeah. Like he was the king of the triple double for quite a while. Yeah. Which is something that you do quite a lot of as well. You're yeah. always looking to perform on both ends yeah, of the court. Yeah, for sure. And I think I get that from him as well. Like That's watching good. his game going hard, just working hard. Is he your goat then? Is he your... Yeah, yeah, he's my goat. Yeah, yeah, no, sure. no dispute there? No nah. Jordan, no LeBrons? Nah. Jordan LeBrons, those are the real goats, but my personal goat is, yeah, Russ Westbrook. That's good, I appreciate yeah. that. Look, I'm not going to keep you too long. Yeah. It's a big game today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm here with the Rockets, but I wish you all the best Thank of you. luck. Thank you. And perform well and have a good game. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, man. Thank you, Thank you very much. I'm here with Danny. Danny's an ex Reading Rocket. He's kind of a big deal. As you can see, a very big deal compared to me, obviously. Um, but Danny, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. You're here on commentating duties. Yes. Uh, is that something you've done a lot of? Um, I've done a few of the Rockets games over the past few years. So yeah, I've done that sort of thing and really enjoyed it. So yeah, Matt reached out to me and you know, usually if the club asked me to do something, I don't mind helping out. That's good stuff. And you started at the Rockets quite young, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, I started when I was about 13, 14 years old and I stayed here. I went out to the States for four years and then came back and played uh, ever since until I retired. So, as far as I can gather, you had a quite an uh, impressive youth career, didn't you? You won quite a lot of trophies. Yeah, yeah, my under-18s team, we were undefeated, national champs, national cup winners, and I, I won quite a lot of individual awards that year as well, player of the year and stuff. So, yeah, no, we had a really good group, so it was quite easy. And then with that took you to America? Yeah, yeah, so I went to Stony Brook University for four years, uh, played under Steve Pike, Jay Young. Um, yeah, really good. We kind of, again, broke some history there, became the first team to win regular season titles, school history, first winning seasons of Division One. so we kind of did a lot over there. What's the experience like in America as far as the atmosphere and the, you know, the fans and all that sort of stuff, even at the NCAA level? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's very much like live and die out there. It's a real... Like the, the culture, the atmosphere around it, even like your training sessions, your games for, you know, out there coaches can like win, they can, and like or they do really well, they get promotion, they go somewhere else, they lose, they could lose their jobs the next day, you know what I mean? It's quite cutthroat. And then yeah, like fans, atmosphere wise, yeah, it's absolutely like, they, they, li it. they live and breathe it. Yeah, it is crazy out there. Obviously I've been to a few NBA games, but even at college level, it's, yeah. it's crazy, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I absolutely loved it. You know, you kind of, Go from playing. I played at the old River Mead. I didn't get to play somewhere nice like this. You got there, and then your first game is you got know, people are all in like full body paint. Uh, there's a there's a band, there's cheerleaders, there's a dance. You're on TV. It's kind of just that you can't really hear yourself a lot because it's so loud. But yeah, I mean, it's an amazing atmosphere. A great experience, like, I'm sure. And then you came back to Reading after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I came back to Reading, sort of thing, and then. I grew up in Windsor, only down the road sort of thing, and then obviously my family was still close at the time, and spent four years living three and a half thousand miles away. You kind of want to play around your parents. Of course, yeah. What, what would you say was a standout moment in your career as a basketball player? Oh, wow. Um, you know, probably, I'll be honest, like, you know, we're here for a semi-final today. I captained us to uh, win, like, the National Cup. So, you know, being able to stand there, a club that you played at as a, as a young person, like, you kind of go through your whole life, and then you stand and you lift the trophy for your, like, club. Do you know what I mean? Like, that was quite a, quite a big thing. My family was there and everything. So, it was, yeah, it meant a lot. That must be an amazing feeling. I can't, I can't imagine, to be honest. But hopefully these guys yeah. can replicate that. Obviously, they're one game away from a final. Yeah. You know, they've had a good season so far. I don't know if you followed them throughout the early part of this season. But, you know, there's a lot to come from this team, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's loads of potential. They're really dynamic. They, they can play very fluid. They can play very fast. It's quite exciting sort of thing. They've just got to make sure they do a good job defensively today. And hopefully we've got a day out to a final. Yeah, Essex aren't, aren't an easy team to come up against today, but they've had a good start to the season themselves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Essex, I mean, they're currently top of the league. I mean, they're very talented bunch themselves. Again, they're quite big. They're quite physical. So as long as we're up to the task, I feel good. Absolutely. Well, Danny, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Thank you.
you very much no, for having a chat with me today. And uh, yeah, take it easy. Yes, thank you. Off you go to commentate on the game. Okay, so here with the big man himself, Reese. How are we doing, Reese? Not too bad, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. And it's obviously good to talk to you before an important game, yeah. semi final. How do you feel about it? I feel good, man. I feel like we're ready for this. Like, uh, we were born for this, ready for this. Do you feel like, obviously, we've just had quite a big Christmas break? Obviously, it's quite tough coming straight back into a big matchup like this yeah. after time off. Uh, the guys are pretty professional, though. Like, we kept in shape. Like, we had some enjoy time off, but we know we had a big game coming in the side here so we took the necessary steps to be ready for today so over the Christmas period are you out there are you working on some drills or anything like that a little bit of a maybe you'll see it today oh okay <laughs> anything special lined up for us today we'll have to wait and see oh, it's bringing out the handles hopefully <laughs> um, but how do you feel the season's been so far for the club pretty good pretty good we've dropped a couple that you know we wish we didn't but that's part of any season of course and you learn from them uh, and I think we're in a pretty good space right now uh, leading into the second half of the season how long is it that you've been with the Reading Rockets now so this is my fourth my fourth season at the Rockets uh, ever since I left Loughborough this has been my home and how do you feel about Reading itself oh uh, no I mean I wouldn't be here for a fourth season if I didn't love it you know that is a good thing to hear obviously okay let's here's a killer question for you you've got a night out in Reading what are you gonna do a night out in Reading yeah, come on give me where are you going I'm, for dinner I'm, where are you going for dinner for dinner Osaka if you don't know Osaka the Oracle Ooh, good go and hit it up see that's Japanese food right a bit of sushi yeah. are you yeah. a sushi fan I am I know I just love the Japanese culture so like okay. all types of Japanese food is for me alright a couple of simple questions now who is your GOAT who's your greatest of all time in basketball uh, why you got to put me on the spot well, like that well you know these are the questions that people might want to know for me I don't, I don't have a person that is like of all time the errors are so different I'm okay. one of those guys that can't compare for me who's inspired you your style of play my personal favorite from when I was a kid it has to be Derek Rose for me ah fantastic yeah obviously his career was cut short you have to feel that those I mean he's still years, there he's still there those prime years were taken from him yeah really, let's yeah, be honest yeah. like he, the, what he was able to do was yeah. incredible yeah but it was so great obviously when he came back and a bit he had that 50 point game quite an emotional time yeah but yeah Derek Rose good choice I'm happy with thank that you, but you. I'm not going to keep you any longer okay. get back out on the court get warmed up Appreciate it's it. a big game watch out Okay, so I'm stood with a man who pretty much needs very little introduction, I would say. Someone who I wouldn't be stood here if it wasn't for. Someone who this team wouldn't be here if it wasn't for. It's of course, Matt Johnson. Wow. The man who basically <laughs> has brought this team to where it is right now, I'd say. Bit of a bit of a team effort. Bit of a team effort. Family, friends. It's a big and, family and operation. It is. And 20, well, I think family as well is like family, not just blood, right? Family, everyone's, you, you feel part of a family, so that's how it should be. But yeah, thank you for being it. I have to say, I haven't been a part of this club for too long, but I definitely already feel the family vibe. I feel Good. very much a part of this. Good. And I can see how it affects everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's the highest compliment I think you can pay as a people involved in a club or a team because it's very easy to just see you come to a basketball game but there's 10 guys playing there's a thousand around the community or running businesses or whatever it's huge yeah absolutely right behind you that's it's almost here. like we set that up it's here happening right now as you can see all the kids that come to these games you can see what it means to them yeah just yeah. to be here like the game itself is one small part of what goes on behind the scenes with this club yeah I mean and what a game like for it's so important that the teams the men the women that they compete well they do all they can but the, the winning and losing will always be a part of that journey but I don't think any of those kids will remember in 10 years time who won this exact game but they remember the feeling they had when they came and that's the thing for all sport community sport performance sport is the feeling that it should evoke and hopefully that's what we're seeing in the background that's what we want to see in the community we have I know, 850 kids playing in the community, 200 in the club. It's a big, big operation run by many, many different people. And they're, they're the ones that really deserve the plaudits because they're the ones that create this feeling and this environment. The, the players are doing their job, the coaches are doing their job, and the community's doing their job. So, super pleased. As far as this club uh, and the brand, where do you think we're going as far yeah. as things are happening? Yeah, it's a great conversation to have. I've just been speaking to some people. We've got a 
quite a lot of big things on the horizon. We've got some uh, some finance people that are going to come and work with us that are visiting us today. We've got projects that we're thinking over the next three to five years. We've got some short-term stuff on some more sponsors coming online. Uh, hopefully men, women, wheelchair. Hopefully keep driving what we've done. There's nothing crazy out of this world, but we've, we're all very ambitious, and this is one part of that ambition. Filling the venue with people that love it and walk out smiling, that's the number one thing. It's the best. It's the yeah. best part of it. Yeah. Obviously, a, a new addition this week. In fact, we have the yeah. big screen. Yes. You can't yes. see it on the camera now, but up on that wall over there, we have a big screen. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure when we say that, when you play this, there'll be some sort of video flying in from the ceiling that you'll do, you tech oh, guys, course, right? Of course. But we'll you're show absolutely the big right. Screen. Like the, the screen from a friend of mine, Donato Lambrezza, from his the multimedia company that's local. We'll, we'll talk about that as well. But they've really donated to us a four by two meter video screen. It's incredible. It's unbelievable. And not only that, it's a complete game changer to having a basketball game and a sports or to having an event that you really enjoy being a part of. And day one with Menno and yourself and the Luke and the, the media team have got hundreds of ideas to make it an even better event. And I think if we keep going with that thinking, more people want to come. We're going to need more seats. We've had to, we're full today. We've got selling out hot dogs, selling out merchandise. It's, it's, a, it's the thing that we want it to be. We've worked at it. Everyone's working at it. But every person that's doing their little bit, this is what's possible for you. So I'd encourage every club to do it. We are absolutely not short of ambition at this club, as you can see. Um, obviously, big ambition for this game yeah. as well right now. Semi-finals. Like, the women had a great semi-final last week. The under-18 boys narrow lost the derby today in a semi-final. Being in semi-finals is big. Without Lewis Champion today, uh, he's with his family, which is the right place for him to be. But if we can get over the line here and get to a national final, we'll be nothing more than these guys and coaches deserve. It's huge. Absolutely huge. Um, but, yeah, so... That's about it, really, unless there's anything else you have left to say today. Oh, just congratulations to Essex, I think, for the, the way that they've put their roster together, the environment, the venue. If anyone hasn't been, go to an Essex game, come to a Rockets game, go and have a look at real quality basketball in Division 1. But, yeah, this is amazing and look forward to doing more of this. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Matt. We'll be talking regularly as part of this show, but I'll let you get on with your duties. Thank you, sir. In doing the, working the room, pressing the flesh. <laughs> I'll go press the flesh. Go press the flesh, Matt. Thank you very much. And we'll Thanks, speak Chris. next Thank time. You. See you in a bit.